Hello and welcome to Individualized Anatomy Considerations with Botox Cosmetic on a Botulinum Toxin A. Watch this video to learn about the following. Functional anatomy of the upper face, various dynamic line patterns and corresponding injection sites with Botox Cosmetic. Evidence for precise control in three areas with Botox Cosmetic will help you achieve desired aesthetic outcomes with Botox Cosmetic in appropriate patients. Muscles of the upper face are interrelated and can affect results. Let's start by discussing the frontalis muscle. Contraction of the frontalis muscle draws the eyebrows superiorly and creates horizontal forehead lines. Resting eyebrow position is a balance between opposing forces of frontalis and depressor muscles of obicularis oculi, as well as the corrugator and procerus muscles. Injecting frontalis, but not depressors of glabellar, may disrupt the natural balance between the two opposing forces, leading to suboptimal outcomes and possible brow ptosis. You'll also want to consider avoiding Mephisto or Spock lateral brow elevation by injecting both medial and lateral frontalis. The procerus muscle draws down the medial brow and the corrugators draw the brow toward the midline. Repeated movements of these muscles contribute to vertical glabellar lines. The obicularis oculi muscle closes the eyelid as it contracts, producing lateral canthal lines. Vertical fibers of the lateral section also pull down the lateral eyebrow. The distribution of the radial lines differs among patients. Variations in dynamic line patterns emphasize the importance of individualizing treatment. There are three commonly encountered forehead line patterns. Patients may have full forehead lines, which present as straight lines across the forehead. 45% of patients present with full forehead lines. The second most common is V-shaped forehead lines, which are wing-shaped lines on the forehead in 30% of patients. Another pattern is central forehead lines, which present as a column of short lines in the middle of the forehead. 10% of individuals present with central forehead lines. The illustration highlights the variations in forehead line patterns. Full forehead lines on top, and central forehead lines on bottom. The images of V-shaped and central forehead line patterns here highlight the variations in corresponding injection sites with Botox Cosmetic. These injection patterns are consistent with the approved injection pattern in the package insert, which states the lower treatment row can vary 0.5 centimeters to 1.5 centimeters medially from the palpated temporal fusion line. Injectors should assess the frontalis muscle activity when identifying the location of the approved injection sites. As with moderate to severe forehead lines, you'll want to individualize the treatment for the patient's unique glabellar line patterns. Four common glabellar line patterns have been identified. The most common glabellar line pattern is the U-shaped pattern, which presents as a depression between the brows in the form of the letter U. 32% of patients present with this pattern. A V-shaped pattern is seen when the eyebrows look further apart and an intense depression between the brows is observed during contraction. 30% of patients present with this pattern, making it the second most common. The third most common glabellar line pattern is the converging arrow pattern, seen when the eyebrows come together with little or no depression or elevation between the brows during contraction. 19% of patients present with this pattern. Last, an omega pattern occurs when eyebrows come together and an elevation between the brows is observed in the form of the Greek letter omega. 10% of patients present with this pattern. The images highlight the variations in corresponding injection sites with Botox Cosmetic based on variations in glabellar line patterns, converging arrows, and omega pattern. You also want to individualize treatment based on the patient's lateral canthal line pattern. Here are two of the more commonly identified lateral canthal line patterns. The most common is the full fan pattern, presenting as lines across the upper and lower eyelids and through the lateral canthus. 
47% of patients present with full fan lateral campal lines. The other pattern is the lower lid fan, which presents as lines in the lower lid, upper cheek area. 25% of patients present with this pattern. The images highlight the variation in lateral campal line patterns and the variations in corresponding injection sites with Botox Cosmetic. Specifically, there are two different injection patterns where the second and third injection sites are above and below the lateral canthus in patients with the full fan pattern. Compared with the second and third injection sites below the lateral canthus in patients with the lower lid fan pattern. These details and more are also available when you speak with your Allergan Aesthetics representative. Botox Cosmetic is the only treatment FDA approved to temporarily improve the look of moderate to severe forehead lines, lateral canthal lines, and glabellar lines in adults. The total approved dosing is 64 units, 20 units for moderate to severe forehead lines, 20 units for moderate to severe glabellar lines, and 24 units for moderate to severe lateral canthal lines, based on rigorously studied dosing and injection patterns. Botox Cosmetic provides unparalleled clinical innovation. In two pivotal multi-center randomized double-blind placebo-controlled studies with 1,178 patients, 921 received Botox Cosmetic. Study 1 focused on moderate to severe forehead lines and glabellar lines, while Study 2 examined simultaneous treatment of moderate to severe forehead lines, lateral canthal lines, and glabellar lines. The investigator and patients rated forehead line severity at maximum eyebrow elevation using the four-point facial wrinkle scale with photonumeric guide, or FWS, at day 30 following the first treatment. Here are the primary endpoint results. For the simultaneous treatment of moderate to severe forehead lines and glabellar lines, 178 of 290, or 61%, and 145 of 318, or 46% of patients respectively, achieved at least a two-grade improvement from baseline. For the simultaneous treatment of moderate to severe forehead lines, glabellar lines, and lateral canthal lines, 166 of 313, or 53% of patients achieved at least a two-grade improvement from baseline. Out of the two placebo groups, not one patient in study one, and only one of 156 patients, or 1%, achieved at least a two-grade improvement from baseline. The secondary efficacy endpoint was investigator-assessed achievement of none or mild forehead lines from baseline on FWS at maximum eyebrow elevation. These results highlight repeatable results in simultaneous treatment across study one in two areas and study two in three areas. Similar results were seen across cycles with simultaneous treatment in forehead lines trials. Responders achieved at least a two grade composite improvement from baseline on investigator and subject FWS ratings of forehead line severity at maximum eyebrow elevation at day 30. In study one, 165 patients received three cycles of Botox Cosmetic over one year, 20 units for forehead lines and 20 units for glabellar lines for a total of 40 units. Here are the results for the two area treatment in forehead line trial results. In study one, 90% of patients reported being mostly satisfied or very satisfied with Botox Cosmetic compared to 1% in the placebo group. In study two, 82% of patients reported being mostly satisfied or very satisfied with Botox Cosmetic compared to 3% in the placebo group. In study two, 197 patients received three cycles of Botox Cosmetic over one year. 20 units for forehead lines, 24 units for lateral canthal lines, and 20 units for glabellar lines for a total of 64 units. Approximately 88% of patients in study two reported being mostly satisfied or very satisfied with Botox Cosmetic 
64 unit treatment compared to 3% in the placebo group. Reported results are at day 60 using the facial line satisfaction questionnaire. This concludes the video on individualized anatomy considerations with Botox Cosmetic. To summarize, because muscles are interrelated, assess every patient in all three indicated areas every time. Variations in line patterns mean that each patient should be assessed for their individualized anatomy. Botox Cosmetic is the one that offers simultaneous treatment in three areas. Botox Cosmetic has unparalleled clinical innovation. Only Botox Cosmetic provides precise control in three areas through rigorously studied dosing and injection patterns. It has more FDA approvals than any other aesthetic neurotoxin, and you can achieve desired outcomes with approved dosing. Results seen in one study of four headline trials were achieved using 64 units in three areas.